everyone, it's Leone from Stampalate. I'm here to show you a couple of different ideas on using the fringe scissors that are in the Occasions catalogue. Now when I first saw these I thought, oh, I don't know what I'm going to do with those, so I didn't bother buying them, but I've now bought them and I've found a couple of different projects that you can use the scissors for, so I'm here to show you a couple of those today. Okay, so they come with the cover so it keeps it nice and clean, so you just have to slide that off and then you've got five prongs on there that cut the make to make the fringe nice and easily now the first project I'm going to do is we need to use our white oval punch just to punch out and this is punched out on the naturals white cardstock and I'm just going to daub that in like that and then again from one end down to the other end now you can add extra colors into this if you really want to okay and we're actually making feathers out of the white oval punch okay so we're going to fold that in half like so and then we're just going to open that up now using our scissors you want to cut on an angle starting from the top okay and then we're just going to cut and then you can use you can recut over that last cut and you can use that as a guide so just so you can get like a bit of a, a deeper cut in as well so I'm just doing completing doing this on an angle I might just angle it in a bit further just be careful when you cut that you do not cut pieces out all right and then you're just going to do that on the other side as well okay. now if you wanted really fine feathers you could then go over and cut in the center of each one like so so just put those down and then just tease up the edge of your feathers like so so there you have there's a little bit that's fallen out so there you have your feather okay and that is what I've done to create this card here this one's just using a piece of the burlap ribbon and I've just used the Cajun Craze and the Soft Suede just there to um, create my two feathers for that. Okay, this twine here is actually from the burlap ribbon so I'm going to show you how you get just the single twine from that as well. It just gives you another use for your burlap. Okay, so you just grab a piece of burlap. Now I've already started on this one here and you just pull out some of these shorter pieces to fray your ribbon at one end and then just pull the frays apart okay and then you can just grab one little thread and start pulling that through and then just it's not that hard really there we go so there's your little thread and it's got a little it's, it's all crinkled from it being in this ribbon from the weave of the ribbon so it gives you a little bit of extra texture to your to your projects okay so that's your feather the next thing I wanted to show you was how to make these cute little flowers okay they're just done using this on a series paper just pop these out of the way okay so here's a piece that I've got from the watercolor paper pack that's in the occasions catalog and what you need to do is you just need to grab your sticky strip okay 
and then you're just going to pop it along the long end and get it as close to the edge as you can. Now in saying that I probably oh, there's a pillowcase. Still a bit crooked there. Doesn't matter. Okay, so we'll just cut that off at the end there. Okay, pop that aside. Okay, so there's your strip. Then you're just going to grab your scissors starting at one end. Okay, now with that sticky strip along the edge, it acts as a guide for we to cut up to on your paper. It also stabilizes the edge of your paper so that you're not, um, so it doesn't get all bent and out of shape and, and things like that. So it will also serve to hold the flower together which you'll see when I get back to it. So just cutting up to that line. doesn't matter if you cut over the edge of the tape. Okay. You also want to put the sticky strip on the side of the, um, the paper that you want to be showing on top on your flower, in the middle of your flower. I'll explain that shortly for you too. Just a couple more cuts. Okay, one more. Okay, so there is your fringe piece of paper. I can see a few hippie cards coming out of that one, can't you? Okay, so we're just going to just rub the edge, the end of your sticky strip. That is supposed to warm up the adhesive and it makes it easier to take that plastic backing off. Now, supposed to, I said, let's see how we go. Look at that. Yay! So we'll just pull all of that off. Okay, now what we're going to do here is we're going to bend the paper back onto the, the sticky strip like so and then we're just going to start twisting around on itself so that sticky strip layer is now holding or going to hold your flower together now this watercolour paper and all the other designer series papers will be retiring at the end of the month so if you want to pop onto my blog or onto my Stampin' Up! website you can have a look at the retiring list and see what else is retiring at the end of the month some of the items are up to 60% off so you might be lucky and grab yourself a bargain Okay. Everything in the occasions catalogue is finishing at the end of the month. Some of the things will be going into the new catalogue, but not all of them. So those things will not be on the retirement list because they're not in the actual annual catalogue. So things like um, Peaceful Petals is retiring. The Blessed Easter stamp that I've used for the tulips a little while ago, it's retiring as well. So just have a look there and see if there's anything that you have questions about feel free to um, give me a call or send me an email that's all good okay so there's your flower all done up okay we've got a bit of a, a divot in the bottom but that's okay we'll still be able to put glue in there to um, attach it to our project okay so there's your flower now all you need to do is fan out the pieces So just and scrunch them up in the middle so you can get a nice looking flower. Okay. Now before remember when I said to put your um, sticky strip on the, the layer on the side of your paper that you want showing in the middle. So this is this one here. So you can see the yellow and the orange from that paper. Okay. This one here is done using the Eastern Elegance Designer Series paper. So one side is grey and yellow, got a pretty pattern on it. 
and then the other side has the um, Coastal Cabana pattern and that's the one I wanted to show so there you have some cute little flowers using your um, your trimmer now you can pop these you can stick them on a stem and stick them into a vase so you've got some pretty flowers to um, pop in a vase okay or you can pop them onto a project like this this is one of our tagger bag boxes okay they come in a kit form and I've just wrapped a piece of um, the designer series paper Eastern Elegance on there a doily and tied it up with some ribbon then popped two flowers on top and that makes a really really pretty little gift okay so there's a couple of uses for you with the fringe scissors if you have any questions again please feel free, free to ask me um, if you wanted to order anything all you have to do is stop by my demonstrator website which is at www.leonieschroeder.net.stampinup.net okay thanks for stopping by